All right. Two o'clock, a little bit after two, about 2.03. Thank you for tuning in to Twitch. ROTG Gaming brings you Lee Chess with Andrin, one of the size members of ROTG Gaming. Thank you very much. This is be uh, short and sweet today. As you can see, I still don't have my uh, camera working quite yet. So I'm going to have to settle for audio. All right, let's see. This is going to be very quick. 30 minutes. Maybe even less than that. We're still working out the boats. We're still um, getting everything set up. All right, anyway, let's play some chess real quick. Since we're on such a short timetable, we're going to do 3-2. But before we get to that, let me just show you real quick. Here we go. Ooh. 1457, which means that I am 42% better than anybody else. That's horrible. Go to 1591. Now I'm 58%. Uh, a little bit better. And then in the rapid, we're looking at, ooh, 82%. All right, that's decent. So what we want to do is we want to get this 82% around these two time controls. Let's work on the blitz. As you can see, I was up there. I was a 1770 back in July. Now I'm just down. Look. Look at all that. Downward spiral. This is worse than the stock market. Right. No uh, jab at you there, stock market. Anyway. So let's get some 3-2 going. Bum, bum, bum. All right. We're looking at... Now, I will play the French predominantly. I'm comfortable with it, but I'm losing a lot of games with the French. Losing a lot of games, but... You know, stick with it. Especially at this time control. 3-2. You want to play something you're comfortable with. Something you can play automatically. And maybe just maybe get a little bit better. So right now, they're making a choice. There's four popular lines. The least favorite is the exchange. The Paulson variation. The Tarash and the advanced. So we'll see what the opponent does if they do decide moon. They got some choices. Most people play the Tarash um, because it avoids a lot of issues with this bishop here trying to pan the knight. But I recently been reading this book um, like principles of chess and they say it's a principle. The difference between a principle and a rule, obviously, rules. You follow rules. Principles are more like guiding. Yet, something helpful to know. And in this case, the principle is that if the knight does go, we don't want to pin it too early. Don't want to pin it too early. All right. It looks like we're not going to get a game. Looks like it is not going to happen. So, where is my win by... I don't see the win by... Claim uh, victory from an abandonment. Damn, damn, damn. All right, we got some action here. Wow, that, that is scary. They moved so... That scared me. All 
Böyle. You know, maybe they have something wrong with their internet. Maybe there's some type of issue with their internet. I would normally say let's give them another shot. Give them a rematch, but, you know, I don't think so. Not today. Time is short. Time is short. This is going to get a real game. Uh, it's not really a strong example of the French, so it'll get a new opponent. New opponent. All right. Now we're playing white. Now we're going with English. Okay, they're looking at some type of... Let me see if they're going to play. Yep, yep, yep. They're still going to play their system. All right, so what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to play the bottom of it system. Um, which... I don't think I'm having too many problems here in the beginning. I don't like the idea of advancing my pawn so quickly without support. Um, let's see if I can do something here. This guy is protected briefly, but... Alright, so... I'm not really too concerned about the knight infiltration. The queen isn't made its move yet. It's still behind the pawns. I know that this bishop is trying to have pressure here on the c3, knight on c3, but once I kick this knight, where's it going to go? That's the question. Where is it going to go? I mean, I'll trade Dark Square Bishop. So let me see if I can cause that to happen. See if we can get the Dark Square Bishops off the board. Well, uh, what's up with this whole time thing? Normally, my opponents will be just like blitzing these moves out so fast. So fast, I play on the app on my phone. But there we go again. You can play victory in 27 seconds. What is with these games today? I mean, I was potentially losing here. I feel like Black had a better game. So, if he doesn't move in 10 seconds, we're going to get to luck of the draw here. Yep. Let's do it. I don't know. Let's give it a second before we search for another one because, you know, two games decided by time. And I believe that this game I was losing actually. Da 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 da. Alright, come on. Let's get a real game. Let's get a real game. Win or lose, doesn't matter. Let's actually just play a game start to finish. Alright. Here we go. Let's try that French again. Like we were talking about. Alright. So this is an exchange French. Um, the idea is to put the bishop on d6. But they attack it. So we're going to have to protect it. Doesn't really alter our plan too much. Bishop goes to d6. Knight's going here. Uh, can they do any shenanigans? All right. Block it with the bishop. Let's see here. Lock the bishop. Lock the bishop. Get the knight here. Now, normally you're going to see a queen, a bishop battery here. I don't see it. I don't know what's going on. They're doing some kind of queen side attack. Oh, let's see where that queen's going to go. 
Okay, okay it's here. Yeah. All right. And you know what? Let's castle. If they castle, they can't castle because of the bishop. So they may kick my bishop away. They may kick my bishop away so they can castle queen side. But there we go. Let's keep the pressure on them one more time. Oh, this is getting ugly. This is getting ugly fast. Dang, 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 dang. Let's go out. Let's actually try and do something. Two targets. This one. Uh, all right. Now let's go straight for the Jaguar. The Queen's got to move. Where is the Queen going to go? Where's the Queen going to go? A check? Nope. Let's get rid of this bishop. Let's do it. Let's get rid of this bishop. We don't like the bishop. Definitely don't want that bishop there. Now let's see if we can double up our rooks and go after him. Still can't castle because of the clean position. So. That they can attack the queen. Let's do this. So if you look at this pin allows this knight to be captured. So they're going to have to lead the knight. But it doesn't really look... Oh my goodness. Look at this. They're just giving me pieces. We have a an attack on the queen. We have a free... Ah. If they try and castle... I will pick up two free pieces. I don't know. This game might be over. This game could possibly be over. All right. Let's do a check. Pick up that one piece. And we're going to... What? Let's go with the advantage. Let's take the queen. Ollie. Well, all right. There we go. Now, this is one thing that I like about the chess is that we can go into the analysis board. Um, that shows a pretty good recap of the game here. And I really love this about Lee Chess. I'm an advocate of Lee Chess. Um, and I think it can go pretty far in helping your chess. So let's do a quick look at this and then we'll continue the game. Very important to look at your games, even the ones that you win. You still want to look and see if you can be a little bit more efficient in your win. This game is a little odd. Um, let's take it step by step. Obviously, the evaluation bar has white winning with a positive point two. The difference between white and black is if white is winning, it's going to be a positive, and if black is winning, it's going to be a negative. And then you can see the evaluation bar is right here, tilting ever so slightly into white's favor. That's actually right there. You'll see that. All right, so let's continue on now. Like I said, this is a French, so it's really, really common. Um, I think. Back to 1864 or 1874, there was an English and a Paris um, competition where the Paris contestants mainly played what is now called the French and won that competition. So that's where the French name came from. It was either 1864 or 1874. And that was in the 1800s, late 1800s. So anyway. So, it's still within the realm of a an exchange branch as soon as E takes D5, E takes D5. Notice that it's still given white the advantage here. Um, with the French, you're not getting any type of an advantage, but you are kind of equalizing from the very beginning. All right. Continue on, continue, continue. All right, so normal development, I see three. It says now we go to a negative point two. So before, white had a slight advantage, and 
now with the evaluation bar, you can see it changed in here. So this is something interesting. With correct play, accurate play, black is now winning. So my idea is the, um, we're going to protect, we're going to develop, we're going to develop, and we're going to castle. You know, that's the idea. Let's see how well that works. All right. Now it's saying that it's back into White's favor. That's interesting. Mm. So let's go back. And let's turn on the evaluation bar. And if I were, instead of defensively protecting it, which gives quite the advantage of Dion, I push this pawn forward. Now I have increased my advantage to point three. Interesting, interesting. That's a very nice tool that you can use to evaluate your games and you better have the coach or you really don't want to spend the time, all the money, and all the books and everything. Um, it's very helpful, this evaluation card, but giving you suggestions. Now keep in mind, these have computer suggestions, so you have to start thinking this way. With, you know, it took them hard at the beginning, but that's just really this one scenario here even if life does it's in very best we are still ahead still ahead still ahead all right and look at the evaluation bar where and if we tap once we capture it Okay. Oh, it. Oh. So. I like it. I like it. But let's go back to reality. What happened in the actual game? What happened in the actual game? I'm still winning. Even in this position, I'm still winning. Oh, my goodness. Look at Paul. Oh. What was that? What was that? Look at this thing jump. Look at it jump. Now, if I would have played better bowls, I would have probably be almost winning, but I played a horrible move there. Hmm. It was like, oh, it's so bad. Now it's not as bad. So Kathleen was the uh, optimum thing there. Okay. Get back to it. It's 221. Let's cry one more game before I have to sign off. Just throwing you uh, some of the handy, helpful things that HS does with our evaluation. All right. One more game. We'll lose. Let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're playing something unusual. I'm going to play a Dutch. I was, was going to play a Dutch. Looks like I'm not going to get to play a Dutch. Looks like I'm going to... Kate towards the center. That's another principle. Kate towards the center. All right. We're looking for... They're looking to checkmate me here. So, let's go here. Oh, no, there's a check. Crack. Uh, crack. I bought that in my... I say that the bishop here... I still have my ability to castle. Not anymore. Oh, they didn't take the castle away from me. That's unusual. That's unusual. They like, should have taken the castle from me. Maybe they got some kind of dastardly plan. I don't know. I call no. What? Get my king away from my queen. That's another little principle there. Avoid relinking your. Avoid linking the pieces like that. Now, 
right square bishop, so it's the same tall old mm. I don't want to. I don't want to get this king an extra move. Let's not do that. Let's not get this king an extra move. And he is all about trading. Well, we don't want to trade just yet. We don't want to trade just yet. Let's continue to put a little bit of pressure. Let's not make it easy for him. Okay. All right, decisions, decisions. I don't like it. Mm. Don't like what's happening here. I don't want to mess up my pawn structure and make it super beat. So, hold up. Let's see. I feel comfortable with that that clean trade. My dish is outside of the pawn chain. It's outside of the pawn chain. Watch for this. is still stuck in it. But if I go here, uh -huh. man, he is just cloning to do all kind of crazy stuff. Right. Go here. You know what? I was wrong. You're definitely. I was wrong. I need to reinforce my clients that could actually do something. Let's see. Mark of Fear. Takes, takes, that's fine. I don't care. Don't care. Takes, takes, that's fine. I'm going to get it back. I'll get the pawn back. He captures, so oh, I get my pawn. Oh, look at that. Smarty farty. Look at that smart guy. Look at that smart guy. Alright, alright. I'll believe you. This is a smart dude. Or a very smart person. I don't know. No reason to put a masculine name behind a person or not because you don't know. Don't. Do it. All right. Only one defender. What's this at two? Nothing. That doesn't really do anything. You can put the second person there. It won't matter. Now, all than my pawn structure like this versus his, he's winning. He's winning. So. I want to try. Uh, I'm going to move the king up the board. I want to try. Alright. That'll do it. That'll do it. Can't afford to, to lose that trade. He doubles his rooks, though. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Did think he didn't. Good thing you didn't double his rooks. Alright, now I'm stuck. Stuck can defend too. Pull up. I'm gonna to have to... Well, this king can't come here. He can come here. This is king's... Yeah, look at that. Look at that. It is a smart one. Get that him. It's a smart one. Well, let's, let's go ahead and, and uh, get out of here before he tries something. Let's see if we can infiltrate to the 7th rank, which is, you know, oh, he didn't want me to get to the 7th rank. Okay. Yeah, 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 that was good. Check, just like 30. That doesn't prove any pain. Caught, caught. What well, is in this game? I can just tell that my pawn structure is horrible. These two fast pawns should win it for him. Um, my king. Once my king is stuck here, 
All right. Who's going to be this king? I'm going to push. I'm going to push. Yeah, I'm pushing. I'm pushing. I don't care. I'm just going to push. Yeah, I got to take. I got to take these guys out. Got to get them out. I'm glad no, it is not up because I am just you no know, horrible. I mean, I mean, the bad guy. All right, yeah, dude, dude, cursing. What you doing, cursing? Fit. Okay. You know what? I need to probably need to get my king. Oh. The pack. Hold on, that. This is where I need to work on my game. This is my end game. I have to work on my end game because I'm um, sure there's a way for me to do something. Now they can't patiently track me. For me. Hell. This is not good. Not good at all. It's not good. Let us not give up just yet. Let's see, what can we do? He's gonna get his con even closer. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. See, I knew it was that last pawn that's gonna... I can't defend both sides of the board. Can't defend both sides of the board. He's getting the queen, he's doing a trick. Pause. So... Trick, more likely, or just simply... Uh, Okay. All right. Well, let's make it easy for him. Good. Good. Okay, King Charles. Uh, Chat making two moves. So, what well, I thought when they lose, it was done. They did to get a game. When they lose, they did to get a game. That it should be all she wrote. What comes here, checkmate. Or not. Either way. All right. The game. Good game to my opponent. Let's go, GG's. Well played. Thank you. Well played. Thank you. And they're gone. All right. That, that's it for me. 30 minutes. Thank you for tuning in. Twitch.tv. Well, ROTG Gaming. ROTG Gaming. We have injured one of the five ROTG players. We stream Final Fantasy XI. Okay. Monday and Wednesday at 9 p.m. I believe that's Eastern Kind, EST, 9 p.m. EST, 9 to 11 EST. Thanks, everybody. I had a great day. Later.